Okay, so our number keypad doesn't have a done button or return button. And we also want to set up the functionality so that if they tap someplace else on the screen, it will retract the keyboard. So in order to do this, we're going to sort of fake it out a little bit. We're going to create an invisible button. So I'm going to switch back into my properties. Let me close out this editor for the time being. And I'm going to put on a plain round rectangle button. And I'm going to stretch it out to fit the entire size of the screen. Now, this is hiding everything underneath, which is not really a good thing. Uh, but we'll fix that in a second. I have, the, have it covering. And I'm going to go to Editor and Arrange and Send to Back. So now it's behind everything. But it still doesn't look quite right. If you go over to the property setting, instead of round rectangle, we can say it's a custom button. And so now it's really covering the whole screen where we had entered it. So now we have an invisible button. So we're going to need to add some text to this invisible button to get it to do a similar thing to retract the keyboard or resign the first responder. So I'm going to close my panel to the side and open up my assistant editor. And I'm going to right click and drag from my invisible button into my header file to create an action. So I'm going to change this to an action because it's something that we want to have happen when this button is tapped. And we'll call this action, call it background tap. So when the background is tapped or our invisible button is tapped, and it's going to be a touch up inside just like for any other button setup, and we'll choose connect. So we have our, our method, our background tap method, and just like we when we created the done typing method, it adds code to our implementation file. So I'm going to move all the way down to the bottom, and here is our background tap method. And we just need to add some similar code to this, only instead of sender, we're going to tell it to do it for all three of these text fields. So no matter which one it is, we're going to retract the keyboard that was popped up for any of them, or for all of them. So we have some text, and it's going to be resign first responder. And our next text field is email text. And resign first responder. I love this fill in for us. Really cuts down on a lot of typing. Number text. Resign first responder. So let's try to run this now and see if tapping on the background will retract the keyboard. So we'll enter some text, tap the background, and the keyboard disappears. Excellent. Again in here, tapping the background, and let's see if it works for numbers, tapping the background, and it disappears. So that's a way to set up some text fields and set up the way that the or particular keyboard to use. Very good idea to customize this as closely as possible to the kind of information that your users will be entering so that they don't have to keep switching back to things that maybe aren't as useful. And also make sure you can retract the keyboard when they're done entering things so that it's not taking up half their screen and hiding the rest of the way that they're going to interact with your app.